Daesung Link, the world's first e-ink phone monitor. Are you looking for an e-ink phone? Look no further. Daesung Link, the world's first e-ink phone monitor has you covered. Daesung has been the inventor and leader of secondary monitors for years and essentially was the first company to start dabbling in the sector. In fact, Daesung has been dedicated to e-ink area and specialized in displays and tablets with e-ink displays for nine years with rich experience and accumulation in image algorithm, ghosting control and refresh speed. The Daesung Link is an external display that makes smartphone screens look like paper. Link is incredibly unique and an interesting new concept product which I've never seen ink products like this before. The device is the new e-ink display, which is made for smartphones. This device can project the smartphone's display to look like paper or e-ink to be exact. Dawsung Link is something a little different, it's the company's first 6.7-inch EE paper display meant to be used with your smartphone. While I've seen phones with e-ink displays before, the Dawsung Link is more like an e-ink second screen for the phone you already have. It's called as e-ink phone monitor. Link sports a tall 6.7-inch e-ink panel that has a 300 ppi density and is available in two color options, namely Phantom Blue and Space Gray. It supports touch inputs and sits within an 8mm thick aluminium chassis. The built-in Daesung Turbo Super Refresh Tech offers smoother scrolling and graphics, making the fastest speed in the industry. Furthermore, it adopts the CNC-integrated engraving technology that enables it to output the e-ink display from connected smartphones. Think of this device as an external display for smartphones. When paired with a smartphone, the device can basically project the screen being displayed on the device on its own e-ink panel. It does not emit light so it has no blue light, no strobe, and can even display screens of smartphones of different sizes and also supports iPhones as well. The link between the smartphone and the link e-ink display is high speed and has barely any latency between them. So one shouldn't face any delays while using the external display. Furthermore, it also supports being controlled directly or reversely from the partner phone itself. In other words, it functions as a regular smartphone once paired. There are also two variants of this device, one that connects it to the handset via a wired connection and another that supports wireless connection. You can keep your phone in your pocket or bag while interacting with your smartphone apps on an e-ink display. Dawsung has two different models for the link. One is an Android and iOS supported model with wireless connection support, the model we have in our studio. They also have a wired model that works with phones that support video out over USB. The link has physical buttons on the sides, and a touchscreen that allows you to interact with your apps using only the e-ink display. The selling point is that you get all the benefits of e-ink, a paper-like viewing experience with wide viewing angles, sunlight visibility, low power consumption, and reduced eye strain, without having to buy a phone with a dedicated e-ink display. If your phone already has a good processor, camera, and other specs, then you don't have to give them up to get an e-ink phone if you can just pair your phone with an e-ink display that you can use whenever you want. The Dawsung Link also has a front light system with adjustable color temperature, allowing you to more easily view the screen in dimly lit environments, while adjusting the amount of blue light emitted at night, or any other time. The brightness and color temperature are also user-adjustable and can even be turned off or on as needed. This ensures the most optimum reading pleasure irrespective of. Also, the company's proprietary Turbo E-Ink screen high brush technology at work allows for an ultra-fast refresh rate. This ensures pages scroll smoothly while even videos playback with no stutter or gaps in between. Link wireless version comes with a battery dock cover, there are 5000 mAh and 6800 mAh battery options, and pair with your phone wirelessly, while the wired version is a thinner model that lacks wireless support, has lower power consumption, and works with select phones from companies including Huawei and Samsung. Wired version is easy to connect, plug and play. Very smooth, display is excellent. I am happy with the color very much. The hardware is fantastic by touch and feel. Decent when it comes to thickness, although the back top of device is larger in area, where the Daesung branding lies along its speaker grill built in there. In total the devices has 7 buttons surrounding it, the max I have ever encountered. But each is awesome and welcome, as they make it very convenient to make all the adjustments without having to go down deep in the software. 
Asterisk top left corner is the main power button, a single click lock screen and holding it for 3 seconds or 2 will turn the device on. Same story with turning on OFF. It even has a mini LED indicator built in the power button, green for connected indication and blue for locked screen indication, pretty cool if you ask me. Asterisk the top right corner button is for the lighting. 1. Cold, white. 2. Warm, yellow. 3. Hybrid, mix of both above. 4. Complete turn off, for when in a well-lit room or under the sun. A single tap of a button switches. Asterisk at left upper area, you have a button for speed modes. I generally stick to speed plus plus plus, option 4, it's more that quick for all the swipes ever needed. Asterisk below that is modes option button. 1. Text for clearer texts, best for reading books. 2. Graphic, best to browse websites, this is what I mostly use. 3. Video, for videos, it's a bit grainy in comparison to the above two but it's the fastest of all. Beneath that are two volume rockers buttons, but they have nothing to do with volume, on contrary, they increase and decrease the darkness of black regardless of the mode or speed you are on. A great quick shortcut to adjust as per your need while viewing anything. And finally beneath that is the refresh button, it's quick and within a sec things get much clearer, for when needed and kills off the ghosting in any on your screen at the time. This device has two USB Type-C ports. At bottom center, you shall use it to charge the battery pack. At the bottom a little more towards right, this is for cabled use. The main device feels light until you add its battery pack to it. The width of link will take a bit of time getting used to. Screen, the matte finishing is good, no reflection problems with it at all. Keeps up with the 120Hz refresh rate. The lightning regardless of cold, warm or hybrid could be dimmed from default's brightest set by holding the lightning button on the top, right corner, and then using the volume like keys on the left, 10 adjustments to it. When playing videos from gallery the view gets horizontal at a vertical screen, this could be sorted with some software polishing. There is a 3.5mm jack to it, I have listened to a few songs by keeping Link connected to my music player in the car. It's worked well. I mostly use this device to read, browsing internet, and mostly push it hard when it comes to using Google Maps for navigation in my car, it's had not disappointed with the navigation, I must admit. Battery, with LED lights on, on medium setting, I could kill the battery packs 5000 ma in 6 and half to 7 hours of continuous use. You are advised to switch slash use white backgrounds and turn off dark themes on your primary device apps and Android setup, if you want to make it friendly.